What do you have to say? Huh? As an instructor, what do you have to say? Good day. <laughs> Lovely day in the pool, man. Lovely day. Lovely day. The sun is shining. Almost clear skies. No, yeah, hey, overcast, I guess. Yeah. But nonetheless, it's a good day. people welcome back to the channel i've been missing for a few weeks but i hope you understand i've been busy and i tried my best and i'm bringing you this video so the question is do you have what it takes to become a military diver let's see this dive course lasts for eight to nine weeks and it's hell but this specific week pool week is where everything from week one to three comes in play this is basically in pool week we see the confidence and build the confidence of future divers if they make it through a pool week so i'll show you what it takes to become a military diver so let's go and what i'm going to do step by step what we do each morning what we do on each day and so on so tune in i hope you enjoy the video so we'll start off with just so every morning every single morning we'll start off with warm up because i mean you got to warm so we do eight to ten laps of just best stroke or side stroke or multiple stroke but we prefer to use um, best breast stroke until we move on to things like so over unders it's self-explanatory you uh, one set of persons will go over the other set so it's over under once you reach the other side then it's your turn to either go under or go over as you see I went over um, one set so now in the next I will have to go under so the main aim of this is to hold your breath so it's one breath take it to the other side of the pool and you try to stay on the pool floor or as close as the, to the surface as possible it's really a good exercise to build or to, to build your, your lung capacity and to actually for you to get a better breath hold and we'll move on to things like so the divers handball is basically you trying to hold the ball down and wait for somebody to come and relieve you so you can go back up and it continues until somebody else come and then they'll relieve you and then you go until it's your time again to go and relieve somebody the diver sprint one of the most excited sprints you can think of you might be wondering what i'm doing but in a few you'll actually see so the basic of this is basically just holding your breath and sprinting on the pool floor 
so here I descended with one weight and picked up one so and take and run to the all the way to the next end and this is a 25 meter pool so this is 75 feet and it's 14 feet deep This is very hard to do, take it from me, because the pool floor itself is very slippery. It takes a lot of energy and good breath hold to actually complete a full length of this. You probably won't get it on the first go or the second, but eventually you will get it if you got a good control on how to really concentrate on your breath hold, then you can actually make it this far. If you can't, well good luck to you so he completed this with one go and that is good but what if you can't complete it in one go this is what you'll have to do so if you can't complete it you have to drop the weights come back up take some air and then you can go back down for it if you can because it's, it's really hard to actually come up and then go back down and then run off again you're actually wasting energy that way it's best if you just do one go and get it done because you'll see you go for it takes a few steps as you can see the pool floor is very slippery take it and then three two one and drop and come back up so they, it would be shorter steps from here for him because he'll get tired and more tired and tired right this was one wannabe who is completing it after this and the complete warm-up you're actually going to the main event for the day so in this we're going to if you fear drowning this is definitely not for you as it because this treading of water is not just any treading of water as you can see the wannabe has on a twin tank which is about 70 pounds plus and his weight belt is about 8 pounds and he has to do in water checks that's ensuring that the hair is fully on back to a quarter reserve cycled up and so on so after they've completed their checks they would have to report to the dive supervisor saying that in water checks completed in water checks sad. after that they will give be given another instructions to trade for the two minutes after that is completed then they will get an instruction to inflate so this trading is probably the most feared part of pool week because it's a lot of work without the proper kicking technique which is what we call the flatter kick you cannot keep up look at that so without the proper technique and the proper kicks you will not survive you'll rock it to the pool floor and i'll have to take you out because once you go under you're out pull it to the side and you'll get another try if there's time allocated for that so without the proper technique things like this trust me things like this will happen and so i'll grab you i'll take you to the side and they'll take you out of the water and they will call it a day so give you another try if you go under again like that we'll just take you out of the pool put you to the side get your tender and take you out and as i said before we'll give you another try if there's time and then if once you're successfully completed that phase we'll take you under for some Underwater techniques is basically things that 
you'll need to know are things that you'll need to do if something happens like for example if your mask is fogged up and you need to clear it how you do or how you go about doing so in this you can see me working and all of them watching you should not work ahead or with an instructor you should always wait on the go ahead of the instructor so I completed the task and then tell them they should do it as you can see they are doing it also so that is just clearing your mask so this is what will happen if you work ahead of the instructor not knowing how to carry out the proper drill or skill so you can see he worked ahead of me and now he doesn't know how to get the, the water out of the mask and not doing this and not knowing how to you will actually start to panic as you can see right there I'm trying to get the water out of his mask now he starts to panic I'm trying to hold him he's pointing up so now I just have to take him up to the surface give him a briefing tell him what to do next and so on then we will move on to other things like regulator recovery so as you can see I told him to hold on and I'll work you see I took the rig and I throw it out lean to the side recover my regulator and then they would do the same so I demonstrate one time and then that's it go again So that is the one of the ways you can recover your regulator. There are more than one, but that's the one I will be showing. Then we would have buoyancy control. This is basically allowing yourself to float or levitate with ease. So all you got to do is add a little here in your BC or your scout swimmer's vest and inhale. And you can see going up so you're trying to achieve neutral buoyancy with this practice so then we'll go on to something more exciting ditch and done is self-explanatory because it's simply ditching your gears and recovering it it's a simple but hard procedure to do because this entails you taking off everything as you can see he takes off his weight belt put it across his leg to hold him down then the next step will be taking off your tank you will see him during the video signaling to me and ensuring that he's doing everything right after that i would take him up i will ascend to the surface and report to the dive supervisor that would ask him what happened to his gears then the dive soup will give him another instructions to go and get his gears. There you could see me ensuring that his tank is fully off and his regulator is purged. So now this is his time to don his gears. So he's, he took his breath and he's going down. Once you're there, all you're required to do is turn on your tank, blow out the regulator and just breathe. Then from there, you will just done his gears. From here on out, all I'm required to do is just look on, ensure that he's doing the proper procedures and he's not doing, hopefully he does nothing wrong. If he does, then all I'll do is take him up to the surface give him a briefing on what he did wrong and hopefully he will get another go at it another day but I want to say thank you for tuning in this far this is not the end of 
full week this is just day one and two still have a few days to go and trust me it's going to be killer tune into the next video as i show you hits and that video you don't want to miss so until next time thank you for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe send this to your friend who wants to become a diver this is not the regular diving as i said before this is army diving and it's totally different so don't be discouraged <laughs> you can do this outside trust me it's way easier two days tops so this is a snap of what's to come in the next video